Hello, it's Kester with Mix TV for In the Mix magazine, and we're greenside at the lodge at Sea Island. Sea Island is part of the Barrier Islands located just off the coast of Georgia. And what better setting for our two-day Scotch whiskey focus than this resort that's famed for its five-star cuisine and its preeminence in golf. It seems like golf and Scotch whiskey just belong together. So let's get started. We are here at the amazing lobby of the Cloister Resort at Sea Island for a Take 5 interview with Lauren Cousin. He's the Scotch Ambassador for Balvini Single Malt Scotch. Along with a discussion on single malts in general, we will also talk about Balvini and Glenfiddich. Both are considered to be top brands on the market. Both brands are owned by William Grant & Sons, which is an independent, family-owned distiller headquartered in the UK. It was founded by William Grant in 1887, and it's currently run by the fifth generation of his family. We're in the Cigar Lounge with Lauren. Thank you so much for joining us today. Before we get started, can you give us a little bit about your background and how you found your calling? Hi, Kester. Yes, I'm from Campbelltown in Scotland originally. Uh, it's on the west coast of Scotland. It used to be the whiskey capital of the world. Uh, there were 34 distilleries there, so I came from a strong whiskey background. Uh, I'm actually a lawyer by trade, by profession. I was a solicitor in Scotland for 10 years, and I'm also a bagpiper. So I ended up in the US uh, touring with numerous rock bands as a musician. Uh, but whiskey was always a passion. I was always very passionate about Scotch whiskey, and I was drank it. So. Um, I'm now the ambassador for William Grant & Sons for the Balvenie single malt Scotch whisky. So that's how we ended up here today. The love affair between Scotch and golf goes back 700 years. Can you give us a little history on the connection? Yes, right. It does. It, or perfected in Scotland. Uh, the first mention of Scotch was in 1495 uh, in the oh. Exchequer Rolls of Scotland, a tax document from the Scottish Government. Golf, or gauf as they called it, was around about the same time, uh, 1457. There was a mention in the Scottish Parliament Act banning golf because it was seen as a distraction from archery. They both evolved <laughs> around the same time and of course people like to play golf and then have a nice wee dram afterwards or even on the course, a hip flask with a wee scotch. Can't beat it. So the majority of our audience is on-premise hospitality professionals and over the past five years we've seen a significant increase in the consumption of single malt scotch. Yep. So according to Technomic Inc, on-premise on volume sales were up in 2011 and 2012. Do you believe this is due to a shift in demographic targeting or a natural curiosity for the younger drinker to try something new? A bit of both, actually. Um, I've noticed that many more younger people, particularly younger ladies, are enjoying Scotch whisky. It's no longer the domain of the middle-aged gentlemen. Uh, as I say, younger people are enjoying it. In Scotland, uh, I noticed men of my age, 35, 40, are starting to get into Scotch, whereas before they didn't drink so much but they seem to reach a level in their lives and the, the taste buds and their palates mature mm -hmm. and they go into scotch. Whereas over on this side of the pond, more and more younger people are enjoying it. Um, as you say, maybe curiosity, uh, consistency. Scotch is very consistent. Some, some people have told me that. That's what they like about it. And of course, the taste is a beautiful taste. So most of our viewers are knowledgeable about single malt scotch, but for the novice bartender and server, can you give us a brief history into the mystery and mastery of single malt? And what makes it different from other blended scotches? Yeah, the single malt comes from one distillery, uh, made from malted barley and water. Uh, blended whiskey is a blend of up to 30 or 40 different single malts with grain whiskey added, which is a neutral spirit. So the single malt is the pure stuff, the, the, the ultimate uh, definition of scotch whiskey. When it comes to menu listing, there's been an increased menu incidence of single malts. Can you give our audience any suggestions on how and why adding Balvini and Glenfiddich to their menus can improve their sales? Glenfiddich is the most awarded single malt Scotch whisky. Balvini is the most handcrafted single malt Scotch whisky. Uh, we're very proud of that. We're owned, of course, by William Grant and Sons, which is still a family-owned company since 1887. So it's family-owned, handcrafted, and the most awarded single malt Scotch whisky in the world. So you can't be much better than that. Lauren, thank you so much for joining us today. Cheers. My pleasure. Slán Diva. Slangeva. 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 On behalf of the Balveni and the Glenfiddich, thank you very much for having us. We'll see you soon. We'll see you next time on Mix TV. Slange.
Let it go.